Hi, beautiful. You look stunning today and always. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. We're watching some people color their hair neon. Neon color is just so beautiful. I can't wait for X Monitor Color to have neons because I need it in my life. Yes, my hair is blue still, and yes, it's a lot. <laughs> I love my color, like I really do. This blue is gorgeous, because I made it, but like, I'm a lot, like I'm really extra now. Like I am fully living my extra life. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts on me. Maybe I'll have to switch it soon to like super pink or super purple, or like a mixture of two of them. But before we get started today, I would like to thank my amazing sponsor, Honey, you know I love them. Honey would like to help pay for one of your holiday gifts. This holiday season, Honey is helping pay for $1 million worth of gifts as a part of the Great Honey Gift Away. That's thousands of prizes every damn week. You probably know Honey as the free browser extension that automatically searches for promo codes for you. But have you heard of Honey's other money-saving tools like Droplist? You can just add anything you wanna buy to your Droplist and Honey will notify you whenever the prices on those items drop down. So to enter to win the Great Honey gift away, all you gotta do is add Honey to your computer at joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. Then just throw some gifts on your holiday Droplist for a chance to win a part of the $1 million. Honey will be randomly selecting winners to help buy something on their list. I know on my list, I'll be adding just like way too many things, like some new jeans. I really need some, um, some new furniture for my house because I am redecorating currently. And maybe like some nail polish because I'm getting back into it right now. And guys, it's honestly a win-win even if you don't win because Honey will still notify you if anything on your list drops in price. That way you can still save some cash, pay less for your holiday gifts, and have a chance to win a part of the $1 million gift away. And help support my channel by supporting one of my biggest sponsors. So get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. All right, guys, let's watch the video, shall we? Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Kimmy, and this is called Split Dyeing My Hair Neon Green with Manic Panic. I have 40 volumizer, but I need 20 or 30. Well, what are we doing? If my hair falls out with 40, then it falls out. Is she gonna bleach the black side of her hair and try to dye it neon green? Um, I had my pink hair for about, like, about a month. I like the look going on. Honestly, I think she should keep it like this. She's really rocking the black and pink moment. Black, pink. I feel like she's probably gonna do the pink side green which will also be cute. So I'm excited about that too. Okay, so she is now bleaching her roots with 20 volume and lightener, which I love. That's perfect for what you're doing. And she looks like she's doing an amazing job going in through every single section and bleaching her hair out perfectly. Round of applause, round. They call it a round of applause because you go in a circle. You should go in a circle. Everyone around you needs to applaud. Like round everyone around of applause. you, get it? Round of applause, everyone. Like everyone around you. It's not like you go in a circle. Oh, I'm going in a circle. <laughs> it's like square of applause, square. Yeah, triangle of applause, everybody. <laughs> Octagon of an applause. <laughs> Just like that, she's going around, she's doing her roots. She's looking good, she's looking cute. She looks like she's laying enough lighter on her hair, which I'm super happy about. I don't know how to explain stuff. Like, I talk so- Why do we have a little bit of lightener going through there? She had some dark spots going on, what is that? I'm gonna wait like 20 minutes or something just to get these roots in. But the bottom, I think the bottom is like, doing good so far. She should probably wait like 35 minutes at least for your roots to lighten nicely. Okay, now she says she made a color remover mixture. I don't know what that is. It looks to be bleach mixed with sh some shampoo or something, like a bleach bath. Not exactly sure, but we're going in with it and we're removing some of that pink color. Actually, all of it, hopefully. That way she can do the green. I think the pink is out. Oh, that lightened really nicely. I'm actually really shocked at how good that looks. Okay, so when I was in a shower. Okay. Wait, this looks so good. Still wet, but yes, round of applause. In a shower, it came to my realization that you missed a lot of spots and your roots are orange as hell. They're bad. That's why you wait a little longer. Wait 45 minutes with that root color, okay, girl? Yes, now we're going lime green, baby. Her roots are pretty bright yellow, which honestly is kind of fine since lime green has a lot of yellow in it. Because she has that little bit of leftover yellow in there in her existing hair, the green will be even brighter. So I'm not mad. I was mad. I'm not mad now. I was mad though. Whoa, this looks sick already. The black with the lime green. Give it to me. 
and she's going in there on every hair strand. Except she did that last time and she missed an entire section somehow. So we'll see how this part comes out. But it looks dope. Dude, this color combo. Kind of jealous, kind of want it. No, I would freak out. It would be so much for me to have lime green. <laughs> Let's show us the results, girl. Guys, I keep forgetting to- Oh my god! But basically, it's been like a week and a half. This looks so pretty! And I washed my hair twice, I believe. And it's still pretty green. Yeah, it's definitely not that bright. But I'm obsessed with it, and I've gotten many compliments. I mean, I bleached my own hair. What do you expect? But these are the results. Listen, this looks great. I do wish it was brighter and more neon, but she said she washed it a few times, and of course, it's not a permanent color. It comes out. However, she definitely missed a lot of sections. I am kind of mad about that, but it looks really cool. I love the color combo. I feel like not a lot of people can do this or rock this and it looks great on you. I do think you need like some wispy bangs though. You know, just a little slant in around your face. I'm envisioning that for you. Fabulous job though. I would give this like a seven out of 10 because it's like fun, but it's like not perfect, but it's okay. Who cares, you know? Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by the iconic Crystal Lindy. How are you girl? Uh, it's called, I accidentally dye my hair neon pink. Accidentally. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'll be changing my hair again. Okay, Crystal, I have to say something right now. You're so pretty. White eyebrows with the white hair and this haircut is just like the most magical thing I've ever seen on you. Like, ah. Today I'm going to dye my hair. Um, Last week I bleached it. I mean, it looks kind of nice from the front, but if I would take it's a little orange. It's a little yellow. It's a little crazy. So today I am going for a color that I don't think I've ever had. And I'm honestly not really sure how you call this color. But it looks like this. Ooh. Pretty. Yes. Neon pink. I think on camera it looks very pink. But in real life it's kind of like a mix between pink and red. Oh, it's gonna be so bright and obnoxious and I love that. Cause that's what I am, I'm bright and obnoxious, baby. Okay, everybody, let's get the hair dye. Um, I already opened it and tried to get it into my mixing bowl and oh boy, she's very thick. Put it on your head, put it on your head, do it. One, two, three. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh my God. Doing that one stripe on top of that bright blonde hair is so satisfying. Covering up all those imperfections with that bright neon pink. It looks red, honestly, but it's supposed to be pink. Very, very pink. Also, Crystal, stop starting on the top of your head. Start on the bottom. That way you can lay the hair back down on top of itself instead of starting on the top and having to like turn everything over. It's just a pain in the This is gonna be a pain in the butt to get out of my hair. I'm glad that she's starting on the roots, coloring them first. And a lot of you guys think that we never start on the roots, but no, we start on the roots when we're not bleaching sometimes. Doing things like this, you can totally start on the roots. I like to apply to all the roots and mids at first and then use a comb to comb everything else through. That way you're not wasting extra color that you don't actually need to be using. You're actually just distributing the color more evenly and better around your entire head. Beautiful! She's applying to every freaking hair strand, which is the most satisfying thing to me ever. You guys know this. Now she's going through the rest of her hair. And thank God that this color is dark because she has a lot of yellow going on in the middle of there. And I don't want that to shine through because it isn't gonna look good. It isn't gonna look right or tight, anything like that. I think it's a pretty color. Honestly, my life will be so much easier if I didn't mind. Other people touching my hair. <laughs> what you can actually do, guys, for my hair color, X Mono color, and anything like this, you can actually just spray a little bit of water on your ends and then comb the color through. That'll help moisten up your hair and make it easier to comb through and slightly, slightly, slightly dilute the color on the ends. That way, the color on top is a little bit darker than the ends because I always think that looks the best. Okay, so my hair is covered. Oh my god, it's all over you too. This is not gonna come off, I have a feeling. 30 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. And you know, the best thing is to rinse it out with cold water. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I... I never do that. You don't need cold water. Honestly, I recommend warm water to rinse out color and not shampooing it. But warm water is pretty essential to like get it off your scalp and actually get it out of some of your hair or else it's just gonna be like still in your hair if you use cold water. Does that make any sense? You need to just get your hair fiber a little warmed up. Cold water is just like uncomfortable and stupid. I don't really get it. I, I, it's not my, not a fan. Oh. <laughs> what, what, wait, what? And... <laughs> So when, how did this happen? Color. Wow, that 
is bright. Oh, bright. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that I was gonna have a muted <laughs> color because that is how it looked on the girl in the picture. <laughs> no, yours is not muted at all. Whoa, this is so bright. I actually really love it. Oh my god, I think it's such a cute color. Like, no, it was not what I wanted it to be, but it doesn't take away that it's a cool color. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is really fun on you. I love it with the makeup too. I mean, she's always just rocking the best looks. I need you to do my makeup one day. We can just like have fun. You're so gorgeous. It's definitely intense. It's definitely there and you're definitely rocking it. 10 out of 10 and it looks like you missed no spots, which I'm so happy about. Round of applause for that one. Great job, Crystal. I'm sure I'll see you again soon in one of my videos, but uh, let's move on to the next person. Up next, we have a video by Destiny Kira, and this is called Dyeing My Hair Neon Pink, Bleaching and Dyeing My Natural Hair. <laughs> Sounds horrifying. What's up, guys? As you can tell by 30 volume, BW2. I am my hair neon pink. Adore neon pink. All right, good luck. By sectioning my hair into four sections, this is the bleach. I made it really thick because I didn't want it too runny. I didn't want it to get all over the place. And I am going to be applying this, ble this bleach to my hair with my hands. Why are we doing this with no gloves on our hands? Ouch, dude. You're going to have zero fingerprints after this. Mm -mm. Mm, no, no, ma'am. Uh, 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 uh. However, I do like one thing going on, and that is that she's starting on her ends because they're very, 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 very orange. That is going to take a lot of time to come out. That orange stage, like, really just likes to stay there in hair. So doing that first is going to be best because that'll process the longest, and then doing her roots after, I think she'll get a pretty even moment going on. I think it'll be okay. I don't know. I mean, we are doing a pretty good job here of sectioning and getting a liner all over her hair. I'm not mad at using your hands. You can totally do that. Just put some gloves on, please. Like, I just don't want to see your hands be dry for the next two months. Wow. Oh, look at those sections. She's still going and she's doing those sections and it's looking fabulous. And it seems to be lightening quite nicely. She's getting that orange out. It's looking better and her roots look good. <gasps> What is going on? Now that I'm done um, bleaching all the roots of my hair, I'm gonna let the bleach sit in my hair for This hand technique she has going on is very risky, but I love it. Ooh, she's ready to risk it all. My hair is kind of like a pastel pink color. So this is the result. The way it turned out, but I really do wish it was um, a bit lighter at the roots, but it, that's my fault, I guess. Here's the issue. You should have applied way more lightener to the root. It was like the thinnest layer of lightener on those roots when you were finished. You should have definitely applied a lot more like heavy really thick lightener and then let it process for 35 to 45 minutes depending on how fast it gets light but you are doing neon pink it should cover your mistakes let's see how it goes i don't really think i used enough um enough bleach on one side of my head so yeah so guys again start from the bottom and go up it'll make your life a lot easier and do sections at a time and then comb it through she's trying to comb the whole head of hair girl it's not gonna happen i am very 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 happy that her curl pattern is still there and it's not completely compromised this is looking bright it's like cotton candy neon pink but we're going around and we're being very generous with the product which i really appreciate sometimes you gotta be a little bit wasteful with the product in order to get the most even result because if you don't put a ton of product in your hair sometimes Sometimes it just sucks it all up and it all just disappears and at the end your hair has splotchiness all over. Believe me, happened to me a million times in my life. I learned my lesson and I was like, okay, more is more usually. Yeah. I mean, damn, she applied a lot. This is what I love to see. And now it's dry. Whoa! That is a lot. Oh, I'm trying to compose my thoughts. What do I think about this? Let me see the finished result when she dries it. Maybe we'll get different vibes. I don't know. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell to be notified when I post another video. Wow. I blow my hair, I blow dried it, and put it into um, puff balls, so yeah. Whoa, okay, so the color is magnificent. Like, that neon is so pretty. This almost looks like a wig because it just looks so insanely bright. I can't believe she got her hair looking this bright, and her natural curl is still intact. I love it, it's so fun. I mean, it's definitely a look, and if she feels like she can rock it, if she feels confident in it, that's all that matters and yes girl you kind of killed it though you kind of did a thing i mean kind of you definitely messed with the bleach a little bit so like seven out of ten will give you today but looking fab looking fabulous yeah Woo! 
Ooh, baby. Oh my God, those are some transformations today. They were definitely fun and they're definitely crazy. And those are definitely some insane looks that these girls are rocking on daily. So good for you guys. I don't know if I could ever do the neon thing. Like I'm scared. I'm scared of neon in my own hair. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my handles. Boom, 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 bang. Make sure you guys text me at my number. Yes, it really goes to my phone. Yes, I really see all your texts. And yes, I will be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. Make sure you guys check out X Mondo Color on Instagram and X Mondo Hair on Instagram, my hair product brand and my color brand. They're also both linked below. You can now shop my brand new colors, super pink, super purple, and super blue. And the hair color you guys see in my hair right now is super blue. And is it super blue? Yeah, it is. If you guys aren't already subscribed, hit that button right there. Make sure you click the like button and the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a brand new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Jackie. She says, hi Brad, I think this one is gonna be simple for you. I've had this length for years. I mean like 10 years, girl, whoa. And I'm honestly not tired of it, but I do feel like I need a change. I've thought about getting a bob and dyeing it. What do you think? Girl, your hair is really pretty. If you've had the same hair for a long time, just start off small and work your way up. I think you should do like a collar bone length bob with a little tiny bit of layering, nothing too much. And if you're really considering doing color, maybe do my new color, super purple and dye it over your existing brown hair. That way you just get like a little tint of purple in the sunlight, but it's nothing too crazy or too different that will shock you. And plus it's semi-permanent, so it will wash out. Give that a try. And if you do it, I would love to see it. Send me a photo. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>